Hi, my name is Omar Nidal and today you will learn the basics of Microsoft Excel. Para madali nyo malaman ang paggamit ng Microsoft Excel sa statistics, kailangan nyo muna malaman ang mga basic terminology nito. The Excel spread documents is called a workbook. Each workbook consists of several worksheets. The worksheets lay on top of each other, like a fleet pad of paper. In some versions of Excel, by default, a workbook will contain three worksheets, only one of which you need for a statistics problem. If your version of Excel gives you only one worksheet, click the plus button to add two more, so that you have three in total. Tabs along the bottom of your worksheet tell you which sheet of the worksheet is active. For this exercise, we are using worksheet number one. Every worksheet is made up of blocks called cells. The cell is the place in which you will type your formulas, insert data, or display other information. You can insert both numbers and letters within a cell. Numbers in cell are called values. Text in cells are called labels. Although it is not necessary for our calculations, but you can change the color, size, and border of each cell. Ang cell ay identified sa kanyang unique column and row headings. Column runs vertically and referred to using letters. Rows run horizontally and referred to using numbers. Numbers and letters are called row headings or column headings. Any cell can be referenced by using column letters followed by a row numbers of the cell. For example, you want to use cell D4. The column heading is D and the row heading is 4. That's why the cell is D4. So, kailangan talagang mauna muna ang letter before number. Kaya, D4. I will give you another example. So, worksheet na ito, pinili natin ang cell B5. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang parehong column B at row 5 ay kulay orange. At ang cell mismo na B5 ay naka-highlighted. Cells next to one another are called a range of cells. When referencing a range of cells, reference the first cell followed by the last cell separated by a colon. For example, this column of three cells will be referenced as A2 colon A4. This row of three cells would be A2 colon C2. If you're referencing a2 colon C4, you're referencing a block of cells. When you enter numbers in a range of cells and then perform a calculations on them, you can use a formula. A formula is an equation you create but tells Excel what to do with data on your worksheet. You can create formulas perform mathematical operations such as addition or multiplication. For example, sa A2 ay 12. Sa B2 naman ay 36. I want to multiply A2 at B2, so equal sign A2 times B2. Press enter equals 432. So, kung titignan ninyo, kapag i-click ko ang 432, lalabas sa formula bar ang equal sign A2 times B2 na ginamit natin. Kung gusto nyo i-add ang mga numbers mula A1 to D1, ilagay nyo lang ang inyong mouse sa cell kung saan nyo gustong ilagay ang result ng formula. Sa example na ito, ilalagay ko sa E1. So, I will type equal sign. Since mag-add tayo, type sum, open parenthesis, A1, colon, D1. Close parenthesis, then click enter. 
Kung mapapansin ninyo, ang resulta ay 292. So ayun guys, I hope may natutunan kayo today about statistics. So don't forget to subscribe for more research and statistics uh, videos in our channel. This is Omar Nidal, signing off.